What's up everybody, it's Wolf, how you guys doing? Today, we're gonna mess with the go-kart a little bit. I did get a new spark plug, so we have a new spark plug in. Um, my garage is kind of a mess right now, so hopefully, with the new spark plug, we have better luck starting this bad Jesse right here. But yeah, man, I don't have a video for Friday, for today, for this. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and squirt that up in there. Give her a one, two push. And I uh, guess we'll try to give her a few pulls here. If she doesn't want to start, then we're gonna pull the carb off and uh, soak the carb overnight. Oh God, I hate this fucking thing, dude. It's got so much compression. I, uh, like that's not a bad thing, but it is a bad thing when it does what it does, dude. Holy shit. I'm not gonna go at it for that long. Only for like two or three minutes here. Honestly, just wanna see if a few more pulls after that first little getter up will do anything. Probably not gonna do anything based off of that. Ooh! Oh, you know what? Okay, I gotta remember I turned it a few times. So, that's gonna be adjusted now. One. Two. Low cut a And uh, let's go ahead and give her a pull. Ooh, come on, bitch. Ooh, that smells not healthy at all, though. Okay, let's just go full bore on that. And we're gonna go straight gas this time. And uh, yeet. All right, well, looks like we might be tearing her down to the ground. Oh my god, that pulled back so hard. Oh fuck, okay. Well, on that note, I'm not even gonna mess with it anymore. I'm gonna just take the... Well, we're gonna take this off, this new filter. This kind of just bends up out of the way. That's disconnected. This is an air hose. That comes off pretty easy. Move that out of the way. The gas hose. That's another story. I'm gonna have to take these clippers. Tighten that up a little bit. This might be one of them cases where we end up just getting another Predator engine. Or taking the engine from the mini bike. Because currently, the mini bike also needs work. I wasn't honestly gonna do this video today, but something in me said that I needed to. So, here we are doing the video. I mean, it's getting gas too over here. I mean, it's leaked all over on my, so here's that little clip. Um, now the gas line should just, oh, there's gonna be gas in here, obviously. We're prepared for that. The line should just essentially just come off. Okay, there we go. Gas line off. Okay. Beautiful. That's out. Now, all we need is. I'm gonna assume that's like a 12, maybe? No, that's too big for a 12. That's like an 11 or a 10. That's not a 10. Um, okay, let's try a 3 8 maybe. Okay, that'll fit. Beautiful. And then on the other side. Oh, that's blown out. Good thing it is a socket on this side too, but I just, I don't feel like dealing with that right now. This works just as well. And uh, yeah, we'll get this nasty little, 
little carbadoodle off. Hopefully, cleaning it will help. I'll probably end up taking the gas tank off as well. With the gas tank, I just put a fucking, well, I guess I didn't put any fuel in. So there's that. Oh, well, yeah, we gotta take it off because I broke the gas line. Fuck, man. Okay, well, that's annoying. <gasps> okay, well, <laughs> I guess let's just. Maybe we'll take the head off. I don't know. I don't really want to take the head off this engine if I don't have to. But uh, if we have to, we have to. I mean, we had to on the, uh, the other Tecumseh. The new carb for this was like $17. So I kind of want to get a new carb. But the problem is I, uh, I've been spending money on shit that I don't really need. So there's that. All right, those are out. Hopefully those will go back in and we don't have any issues with the seat. But, uh, okay, let me show you guys. It's honestly pretty easy to get to. Put the seat down, come over here, bada boom, bada bing, you remove that, and there's two little bolts right there, and I think that would be all that's holding that on, and then we can pull that off. And then we should probably do an oil change as well, so oil plug right there, try to get a pan of some sort in there. Um, doesn't look like there's, um, there, yeah, there's an oil plug down there as well, so we could do it from there. I don't really know though with that shaft being in the way. I don't really want to take those off. Um, but yeah, I guess right now what my goal is, I'm gonna take this boy off. It's definitely crusty. It's a little old. And then we're gonna take the gas tank itself off, which I think... What the fuck? You see this? How does this go on here? Does it just clip in? I don't know, I'm gonna assume those screws just come out and then it comes off. So let me go ahead and get to... I accidentally shut off the camera, but yeah. Let me go ahead and get to doing what we need to be doing here. Um, which first things first, let's get these. Go ahead and do this. Be prepared for any leftover gas to just fall the fuck out. Pull that crusty busty out. Bada boom, bada beam. And then those look like 10 millimeters again. Uh, actually. I got the drill. And all of the batteries charged and I'm not even using them. Hundred percent, beautiful, easiest gas tank removal ever. Okay, so we know. I mean, at least we know that's pretty clean. Um, go ahead and put those back. You know, you never really want to start with your power. Oh fuck! You never really start with power tool. You always want to start it by hand, but around here. Who needs those things, man? Just do it. Just do it. You know, just a little boom. Boom. Those are there. A little oil stick. How is she looking? I think we already checked the oil, but just in case it's done, you know. Yeah, she's pretty full. She's pretty she's pretty black though. Pretty dark oil. But there is oil. We need to get some like degreaser in here. And just degrease the whole fucking engine. But I don't know, man. I was really hoping the new spark plug would help out a little bit, but did not. Did not, did not, did not. She is rather rusty in there, but uh, that's her spark, 
you're on and off, whatever. Your kill switch. So, we got that on and off right there. Oh, they're pretty crusty connections. We could check all of those. We could do a lot here. Also not uh, fucking lose this shit. I don't know what this is even to. I don't know. I think this might have been to the to the to the carb. I think that's what that is. Oh no. Where's the other one? Oh that's so gross. It's just gas, but oh fucking wet nastiness. Um hmm. So this is like a little air breather thing for that OHV, whatever. I'm sorry, it's, it's overexposed as fuck. Whatever that is though. So this goes into there, then this goes onto the carb as a breather. So I don't know if that is causing issues. We taped it on there because it was loose, loose. But uh, yeah, this thing, there's still gas in here, obviously. I'm gonna have to, uh, I forgot I had the bull drain on this one. I went and swapped it yeah we're gonna have to I guess take this apart try to clean it better get another another gas line I don't know if we want to take the head off while we're in here I don't know I don't know what I want to do I'm gonna have to go through though like I said and check all this wiring make sure it's grounded out proper um all that good stuff and then fucking wire that to that switch out there as well so we have like a secondary kill switch um because that was wired at one point but they disconnected it so we'll do that in the next video but either way i'm gonna tear this apart try to clean it up and we'll see what happens hopefully maybe that'll help if that doesn't help i guess we can go in here kind of try to tear the head off i don't really want to because we have risked the chance of fucking up a gasket but either way, it's, it's whatever. If we have to do it, we have to do it. Um, but yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.